So there's something that no one really talks about, and it's getting even more confusing now that Season of Discovery is coming out, and that's class identity. Classes, roles, and jobs are getting all mixed up, and I've noticed tons of people still don't know what they're going to play, even after watching my class picking guide, because they forgot to subscribe like most people. But I wanted to talk about this because I really struggled with finding my WoW identity in the past. I kind of just played whatever thing worked for my friend group and was a little bit exciting at the time, but I desperately wanted to have a main that I could always go back to no matter what. It was super confusing trying to figure it all out on my own, and I even took a ton of those which class are you personality tests. But instead of hyper-analyzing yourself or making a giant Excel spreadsheet, you actually need to do the opposite and zoom out. Think about what kind of themes that you want to engage in and what kind of experience you want to have with the game. So I'm going to talk about some styles of players that I've noticed so that you can figure out which one you are and give you some recommendations to match it. First up, we got Raw DPS. These classes have tons of combat tools and very, very clearly defined roles. They usually revolve around burst and cooldown management rather than multi-dot or 3-5 to five target cleave. They're extremely popular in PvP with huge skill caps, while one of their specs is usually insanely easy to play and get into for new players. They're not extremely complicated to play, and if you find that boring, stop complaining about it and just play something else. This one is me, by the way. I'm this one. Moving on to Raw Tanks. This one's pretty straightforward. You're just playing the tanks because you want to tank. You're going to play the best tank. You're the Warrior in Vanilla, the Bear in TBC, the Prop Paladin in Wrath Lich King. It's totally fine for you to flavor the month reroll because you just want to tank and you want to pick the thing that lets you tank the best, and you won't regret it. Next up is Bruisers or Off Tanks. This guy likes to go in. You play stuff that goes in. It's very tactical, in your face, feels good. Because of this definitive style, usually somebody who mains a warrior and has an enhancement alt won't want to use that shaman to heal. It's usually just for enhance. This makes up like most of enhanced players. This person's usually really attached to the melee style in general, and whenever they play things just to top the meters, like a mage or warlock, they don't feel bad, they just don't feel as good about it. And they struggle to take those other classes very seriously. And that's why I'm not going to put a raw melee category, because this is pretty much the raw melee category. It's just rogue and enhance normally don't fit in here, because they don't have taking specs, but they will in Season of Discovery. So moving on to raw casters. You're a raw caster player because you just like to dunk on kids. We're talking mage, we're talking warlock, we're talking huge pumpers. There's a dude in your guild that's always playing mage and then warlock is better for one patch and then he instantly rerolls it. This is him. This is the guy. He just likes to own and so he picks things that usually end up owning all the time like warlock has been the past like five retail expansions. They're happy to jump on hybrids whenever they're ridiculously overpowered because the skills carry over immediately but if you catch this guy on a warrior he might just be a reroll player. And that ties into hybrid ranged. Not necessarily all hybrids. We're talking about like spreest, boomkin, warlock. I thought about naming this proactive ranged. It's really common for these classes to not have a specific behavioral pattern in combat. One fight you're multi dotting the next one you're kiting adds, or you're spamming seed or typhoon and stuff. Usually what attracts people to this category is the proactive rotations where you're heavily rewarded on planning things out very ahead of time, but also the ability to fulfill different roles if that's what's required. Elemental Shaman can also fit in here, but it's not usually methodical enough to satisfy this type of player. Raw Healer. Okay, this is the dude who has like three Holy Pallies in Wrath Lich King. You know who you are, you like to heal. I don't need to explain any further, you just play whatever the best healer is, and that's it. Now I'm going to split up the healers in case you kind of like healing, but you're not that guy. The Tactile Healer, like Resto Shaman and Holy Pally. This is my favorite kind of healer, somebody's at half health. Health, you holy light them, boom, they're full health. Feels good. You push the button, you cast spell, the thing happens. It's really in your face, it's happening in the moment. It's simple, it can be a little boring for some people, and hectic if a lot's going on because you can only do one thing at a time. And this kind of style is more similar to melee rotations rather than range. Now we got the proactive healer, we got Priest, Resto Druid. This one is the big brain healer, and it's usually really addicting, and everyone's okay with that because we need Priest. This is the guy playing Disc in your ICC raid. You're rewarded for managing multiple things going on at once and predicting what's going to happen. You usually have more just general utility than the other healers, which heavily benefits you in PvP. If you have an itch for healing, but you don't know which one you want to do, try one from each category, and if you like both, then you're just a raw healer. And now the best for last. If you're really struggling and you didn't identify with any of these patterns, and you have a history of playing completely random garbage, this one could be for you. This one is the Reroller, which makes up a majority of very unique specs like Feral Druid. This person just plays what's good, what's top in the meters, that's totally okay. The true Reroller doesn't really care that they're playing one thing one patch and then another thing the next patch. If you think this is you, you should pick something exciting and then dive right in, put all your money on it. If you have any regrets, then you're probably just ignoring parts of your own style that aren't being satisfied. But if you end up ditching your current thing for the next new exciting thing, the next patch or expansion, then congratulations, this is absolutely you. Feel free to own it, people might make fun of you, but it's just a game. And if you're having fun, there's no shame at all, especially if you're topping the meters, you're carrying kids, it's, you know, it is what it is. And that's all of them. Of course, feel free to ignore all this and just play whatever you want. These are just some general patterns to help you decide and lower the anxiety of making the wrong choice. 
And even if you do pick the wrong choice, it's just a game. Don't stress out about it too much. Hopefully you can use that info to make a more informed choice in the future. And there's no science behind any of this. Nobody can tell you what's the perfect thing for you to play. At the end of the day, it's better to jump in the game with a clear idea of what you think you're going to enjoy. And I hope this helped you out with that. I know what I enjoy and it's making videos and you can help me out by subscribing. You can even follow my Twitch where I'll be streaming Season of Discovery. Thanks. Peace out.